this is the weekly horoscope for Gemini for the week of October 31st, 2022. Hello, my gems. Share your love and support to your girl, Marie, by liking, subscribing, and sharing. And if you want to know when my videos are up, be sure to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you know when they are up, okay? Also, let me see what else. So, Monday and, well... Monday I'll be doing daily horoscopes, and Tuesday and Wednesday I'll be putting up the monthly horoscopes as well, and then we resume back to our normal schedule, so yeah. So this week on Monday, um, my gems, this is likely to be a discouraging time for you. It's not the easiest time with Mars in retrograde. You are also likely to feel very lethargic and lacking energy and drive and initiative. Others are likely to misunderstand your actions or intentions, which could be a source of embarrassment or lead them to opposing your actions efforts without really understanding your cause. Physically, you are more prone to infections and diseases at this time. You're more prone to scattered your energies instead of concentrating them effectively. You may not be getting along with family members. They can be trying to obligate you to things that you don't want to do at this time. I feel when you want um, to be more about your freedom and not deal with certain family members, children can be a handful or you're not getting along with your partner. Tuesday, you may have to travel for the sake of business now. Vacations abroad may be unfilling, so avoid pleasure traveling at this time. Sometimes this indicates a crisis of faith because certain things are not going your way. This is often a time of increased responsibility. Usually, you'll not have much time for your personal life as business obligations get in your way. Your views may be unpopular. There is some chaos likely in the office. You may have to deal with complaints, particularly from women in the work environment. Health worries may be on your mind not the best time to make important decisions others of you you can step um, you can be treading lightly when it comes to certain relationships going on either with your personal life or with your work life and you're not ready to confront certain situations or certain people at work you're not ready to speak your mind say your truth voice your opinion at this time so you kind of just go with the flow and get along for the sake of getting along at this time you can be avoiding certain confrontations or avoiding certain people that you had confrontations with because you don't want confrontation at this time. Then on Wednesday, you may find it hard to get along with the women in your life. Feelings may make you feel uncomfortable. You may feel dissatisfied with yourself in some ways. You can be looking at making... Um, Overtime, unwilling as other people at work may not show up for work, so you can be um, dealing with overtime in that way, leaving you to feel stuck at work until they show up. So you may be late for something that is happening. Not the best time for voicing your opinion or commenting on social media because other people may not agree with your way of thinking. And you may find yourself more popular with the opposite sex at this time. Romantic encounters, parties, and social events are common. It's also a good time for artistic and creativity and self-expression. You can be expressing um, yourself a bit more than usual. You can be enjoying a night out with friends or doing something with the people at work after work. Then on Thursday, Mars is in retrograde. Says quadrating the sun in the sixth house of daily routine and pets. There's still a stellum going on in the sixth house as well. Um, so you can visit last week's horoscopes um, for a big explanation about how it's going to affect you. So there's a lot of emphasis on the sixth house at this time um, during this time period till like November 17th or something when it starts waning and starts all the planets start moving into the sign of Sagittarius. So at this time, someone may do you dirty it may not be there for you or is not doing what you want and and you're um, keeping tabs in the back of your mind of what they're not doing for you or how they didn't um, did it I can't talk fulfill certain obligations to you at this time okay and you're playing it off like it doesn't bother you but it does inside you could be fuming and you're not gonna say anything you're gonna be like that's fine that's fine whatever whatever kind of situation there could be an incident you may have with this person and you're going to bring it up again at a later time. This could be a happy time for romance or getting your flirt on with somebody. For others of you, you could be relying more on your intuition. You could be at the right place at the right time. You have a create, creative way of expressing yourself, be it in fashion and not giving a damn what other people think at this time and how you're dressing. So your style this week can be a bit out there, especially those of you who are 30 and older, okay? This is also 
also on Friday, still a busy time for you in general. Lots going on with growth happening with your career or business. Or you could be more about friends, family, groups, organization, or a busy time period for you to be out and about or growing. You may not be getting along with those who complain now at work or trying to get out of doing their work and you can be feeling some kind of way about them or other people in your life can be going through their problems and you want to stay out of their problems because it's too much emotionally for you at this time to handle. You may not want to be open and vulnerable to your therapist or go certain or go to certain depths or regions within yourself that could be triggering too triggering for you emotionally. And this doesn't even have to be with therapy. This could be with like conversations that you have with other people because a lot of times you have a stellium in your sixth house so you're very quiet about your feelings you're not trying to be vulnerable and you're not trying to go deep with other people at this time okay so you're not trying to rehash fights with other people you're not trying to revisit sad situations that happen in your past you're kind of like shut up shut up shut up you know about like problems that happened in the past, traumatic events that happened in your past. You're not trying to go there with other people. So, you know, and you're not trying to be vulnerable. Okay. This could be also people breaking plans with you at this time and kind of off doing their own thing. You may not appreciate them not sticking to the plan and kind of diverting from, from an arrangement that they made with you. Or this could be a situation where you guys go out on Friday night and then next thing you know, this group is going clubbing and then this group is going out to eat. And it's like, what the hell? We're all supposed to be doing this together. So that first card I come up with is the King of Coins. This is a great time for business picking up. For others of you, you could be really focus on work at this time for others of you this could be your partner away for work with this energy and they could be there's there could be like them getting more hours at this time and you um, spending time at home for others of you did I say it'd be a good time for business picking up so this is a good time for business picking up the star card manifesting what you want at this time so it's a beautiful time for money this could be plans working out as planned this could be fulfilling certain goals or obligations at this time for some of you this could be a wish coming true and something you've been wanting manifesting in your life so it's a beautiful energy time for that the um, queen of the king of wands you can be de dealing with somebody that's a leo somebody that is stubborn and kind of stuck in their ways of thinking and it's kind of like my way or the highway but also you may benefit through the men in your life this week as well okay so this person you know so this person can be successful with their career and stuff and you benefit through their success with this energy they could also be taking you along for the ride so you could be dealing with a fire sign this week like an Aries that could be taking all their friends with them up the corporate ladder or if they have like a business idea they could be taking you on their journey with them okay the queen of cups i feel like this is a good time to emotionally just like kind of like go with the flow this week with this energy for others of you this could be again people emotionally supporting you and helping you grow and i feel like you benefit through the men in your life helping you do that the five of cups for some of you you can be dealing with bouts of depression you know it's not the easiest time period because mars is not mars is in retrograde and it's not well aspected at this time can so you can be feeling a bit restless at this time or a bit stuck in your feelings with this energy so try to stay out of your feelings this week with this energy and try to keep you know give the brain something to do which you're kind of over your routine as well so it's easier said than damn done the temperance card you're more about your sanity this is a time period also, where you could be working on the self with this energy, this can be a busy time of work and home, work and home, work and home. This can also be emotional validation coming up for you as well. The chariot card of victory is happening, so much needed good news. A great time to mingle if you're single with this energy. I feel like for some of you here, you're very non-confrontational, like the astrology said, and you're avoiding fights and you're avoiding arguments and you're avoiding certain people in your life. You're kind of running away from your problems rather than facing them at this time. There could be certain obligations like paying for your bills and you haven't paid for it for a while and you could be avoiding those things at this time certain payments um if you had like a bench warrant for your arrest you could be avoiding that at this time with this energy and kind of like yeah just not trying to deal with it at this time not trying to go to jail or what have you the devil card endings is coming up with this energy 
um, for some of you here, this could be taking, this could be more about your responsibilities, buckling down and kind of taking your life a little bit more seriously. Playtime is over with this energy. For some of you, this is winning in an artistic endeavor at this time. Um, for others of you, this could be success in gaining employment with this energy, or this could be like second chances coming up in regards to career growth or certain things. Things are going to come back to you at this time and you have an opportunity to put your best foot forward or do things differently during this time period. So this is a very positive energy for you when it comes to second chances. The three of wands talks of growth happening. And this is um, climbing the corporate ladder with this energy. So this is a time of moving forward and like looking back at how far you have come in life, okay? So you could be very um, proud of yourself. You could also be dealing with manipulative people around you this week as well. So be careful with that. Be careful with somebody guilting you or somebody being sexually manipulative with you and using their sex to get what they want from you at this time. Or somebody being a snake charmer this could be dealing with somebody that's very flirty with this energy and they know how to talk to you because they're so flirty and they could tell you whatever it is they want to tell you and you will do it unfortunately so it's up to you what you want to do with that but you love this person's at attention i do feel like this is a great time for business picking up for some of you with this energy or starting your own business endeavor this week as well i feel like for some of you this could be expanding your business with this energy this could also be dealing with international business i do see depression um during this time period you can be dealing with a liar so be careful with this energy um the hangman card indecisions coming up something heavy on your mind but this could be more of a thought than an action you could also be overthinking things and thinking about everything at this time so be careful the ace of cups i see love around the corner for you with this energy the queen of swords you can be and you already know this person too okay for some of you this could be an ex for others of you this could be um like unrequited love happening here okay so i see that and i feel like whatever decisions you have to make i feel like you can be cutting off certain people from your life at this time um I feel like, you know, so it's going to impact a lot of people around you. For others of you, you could be deciding to quit your job at this time because you may feel like there's no growth or for a lot of you you're just bored and restless or you're being bullied by other people. You may decide to quit your job and it's going to impact not just you and the other person that you don't like, but a lot of people around you are going to feel the effects of you being gone. So you are going to be fiercely missed at this time i feel like for some of you you need to get the hell out of your head you're very consumed by dark feelings at this time so try to you know work on expressing yourself to other people i feel like for some of you, you could be very angry about certain things and it could be like deep down inside that you're angry about certain things at this time okay but you don't want to talk about your feelings with this energy the six of coins i feel like fate could be playing its hand at this time with this energy Okay, so whatever has to happen, happens for a reason um, this week. The Tower card change is happening for some of you. Pluto energy. So certain things may no longer apply in your life. Certain foundations are now crumbling down in order to make way for new things to come into your life. So this could be either whoever has to leave your life, let them leave your life. This could also be people leaving your life at this time with this energy in order to make way for the new, in order to open your path up for you so you can continue moving forward, okay? I feel like for some of you here, this could be like things happening last minute for you. This could be a time period where you're like rebuilding your life with this energy. You may wanna be careful what you post now on the social media because I do feel like other people are watching you a little bit too closely this week so just be aware of that so be careful what you post on TikTok or social media because I do feel like somebody is watching you and they could take what you say very personally at this time or feel like you're attacking them I feel like you may have to make some quick decisions something you've been wanting for a very long time is coming to fruition be careful with impulsive decisions at this time 
fate is happening for you this week, okay? Endings are coming up. You're coming in on a new cycle, even if it's not like a divorce or quitting your job. You know, certain things are definitely no longer applying in your life. So you're definitely coming up on some kind of new cycle in your life at this time with this energy. The um, Ace of Wands, I feel like people in your life can be very supportive of you. So this could be growth happening with career and career could be taking off at this time because you have a stellum also in your 11th house. So this could be a beautiful time with that, with this energy. So there's a beautiful time for growth for some of you. Also with this energy here, I feel like for some of you, this could be a new relationship or a new job coming up for some of you with this energy as well. The um, seven of coins, again, something heavy on your mind. I do see a victory coming up for you this week with this energy. The um, six of swords, this could be your new normal coming up as well. And I feel like for others of you, this could be a difficult time traveling so be careful when traveling this week i also feel like prayers can be answered at this time the wheel of fortune card brings about a turn of events coming up for you so certain things can definitely be out of your control this week with this energy so try to go more with the flow at this time you know and just kind of be open to the new things that are coming up because everything that happens is a good thing even though it seems challenging and bad and hurtful and painful as hell but some you know sometimes we have to shed and you know have our spiritual awakening in order to start our new existence so you know try to be about bigger picture see yourself as the so-called lobster and I think I said this last week too. So you're the lobster growing its shell at this time and your shell is getting bigger and, you know, certain things cannot come with you. You know, you will have everything that you want in life, but at certain times, okay? So it could be that situation kind of happening for you this week. For some of you, this could be a great time for those of you in college. This could be a great time for higher learning this week with this energy. I feel like you could be at the right place at the right time. Um, a great time for those of you wanting to publish a book. There could be opportunities for that coming out. I do see more money around you happening this week. The Ten of Wands, I do feel like, like there's going to be more responsibilities um, being placed on your shoulders this week as well. And the Page of Coins, for some of you, this can be more money coming in. This could be another source of income happening for you this week. The Knight of Swords, I feel like this is new experiences. And this could be like buying real estate at this time, investment properties, and learning about that. This could also be, um, for some of you, doing those online um, money things too. So that could be coming up. But I do see another source of income happening. The Eight of Wands, I see good news coming up. I see traveling happening for you at this time. And the Four of Coins, I feel like for some of you, you can be dealing with somebody that's stubborn and stuck in their ways of thinking at this time. So you have to be very convincing at this time with this energy. For some of you, this is your status in life um, changing or your financial picture changing for the better this week with this energy. I love you, my gems, and show your love and support to your girl, Marie, by liking, subscribing, and sharing. Kisses.